I was one phone call away from disrupting his adoption. One phone call away from saying, I can't do this. My daughter, Amberlynn, wanted a little brother. I decided to adopt through the county, but I knew there were children that needed homes and, and that needed families, and I was a single mom, so I decided to adopt. So we went to the county, and there was a matching event. And I went to this picnic, and I just saw him. And his name was Devin. So this little two-and-a-half-year-old was just playing with abandon on the playground, and I just knew. There he is. That's my boy. And it took the county several months, four or five months, to decide that, yes, he was mine. And that was after several people turned him down. They figured that I'd turn him down, too, when I knew all the facts. But I'd already met him, and he was already mine. He was born with fetal alcohol effects, and he had a lot of prenatal exposure to alcohol and drugs, and he has a lot of long-lasting behavioral issues because of that. I knew he was a handful, but I couldn't imagine that he wouldn't be able to go to school. The low point was the week that he was suspended three days. The school convened these big meetings. There were nine professionals sitting around a table and me, and they were telling me that, you know, my child is so difficult and unmanageable. and. Um, I had him assessed for autism and he wasn't on the autism spectrum and he was um, low normal for intelligence but he should have been educatable. So kicking and screaming and against my better judgment we tried medication. For his, he has um, oppositional defiance so he's got ODD, he's got serious ADHD. The medicines didn't work. It was, it was an unmitigated disaster. And so we were going through all these trials, you know, different, three different kinds of medicines and, and the, the normal ones like Ritalin and Adderall and Stratera that normally work, it was the opposite of the desired effect for Devin and it just made him harder to handle. I always felt like I was a really great mom to my girls, but I thought I was a total failure for my boy and I didn't know what to do. I didn't want him to go to a school for severely emotionally disabled kids. I didn't want to, I didn't want him to end up in an institution. You know, I wanted him to stay in my home and I knew that something had to change. I was honestly thinking that I was going to have a disrupted adoption, that I had ruined my life, ruined my daughter's lives, and that I was doing him no good either. I had had a sleepless night worrying about what to do and how to get, make things better. And it was right about that time that a therapist suggested that MHS could come in and work with us. And MHS was able to work with all of us so that we could come together as a family to solve things. We all have bad days and it doesn't mean that it's just not working. You know, I was able to see the bigger picture, see that there are a lot of things working. And because it was so strength-based, I got to see that Devin has a lot of remarkable qualities. And not just focus on the negative behaviors. And it had MHS not come around when they did, my family would not be intact. MHS helped us to come up with a mission statement for our family which was that we are a fun, loving family in a stress-free environment full of laughter. I can do all things, I can do all things that are called of me.